Good day, it's uh, Clive Roxing here. Um, I've been modifying my music system and I didn't really plan it but I started off running uh, how many amplifiers? We've got two there, we've got this little one here and that one there. I've got this one over here which is three and I'm running my mic through two amps to get a nice effect. Oh that's another one there. So that was four I was running and it splits between that one there and this one here. This is the one with the sound effects on it. This one's got its own mixing thing over here. Um, well, it's all these controls. It's your box body what box. Um, well when I was playing it it was a bit trebly because it's bouncing off the cabinet. I did that because of feedback and it was feeding back because it had it sitting here and what it was doing was feeding back. It was bouncing off the bouncing off the front of the cupboard there and it was coming up into the mic here and it was bouncing off the front of the desk there and, and coming up into the mic so what I did was I put it in there but because it's reflecting off the cabinet it's kind of a bit trebly and I can't really turn the volume up and I thought it needs more bass so this is a subwoofer off a TV system and it's grouse but it's actually drums and so it's sort of too deep so what I've done is I've put my guitar amplifier, which has got a huge magnet on it. I paid 50 bucks for this speaker. And I pulled the ordinary speaker out and I put this huge... The magnet's nearly as big as the amplifier on the back of that. I had to pull the back off because I couldn't get the speaker in it. But it gives a nice uh, the bass sound. And so I've got my main system for doing my karaoke. But when I was playing songs like this... I wasn't really getting the bass that I was looking for. So now I've got this complete control over it. That speaker's a bit crap. I've uh, bought some speakers off of Blake, and he actually, he actually does. His name's Laren in Nanny Mark, and he uh, he does music stuff. He's like really cool. He knows how to wire all this junk up. And uh, I've got, I don't know if you can see them. These, this is a 300 watt system. This is like abusive. You can see the size of the speakers. You can't see it. Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to get my torch. Where's my torch? You've got to see these things. Look at the size of those things. This is a 300 watt home stereo system. So I've got my big uh, the big speakers, I need a, so a couple of the, the subwoofers I want are about 800 bucks a piece I think but these things, this is a look at the size of them and this is a 300 watt system, now, I think they're 130 watt which is 260 and then it's got the rest of the system which is down here And the rest of the, the other speakers are down, down here. That's the two little a couple of little toys, and that's a couple of, yeah, probably medium range or whatever. But the power I'm going to get out of this is insane. Because I've got 120 watt, no, what have I got here? I think there's something 120 watt, I'm not really sure. That amplifier there, I think it's about, I think it's 120 watt. It's not bad, but what I do is I run the treble through this one here but it's only running on little baby speakers at the moment um, down in this cabinet here and so what I'm going to do now is run that through that larger system and I'll basically double my output power because I can only run uh, treble off this one 
because it's got too much bass for actually the bass speakers. So I've got surround sound with the TV and then I can couple that with the other amp for Man oh man. It's going to bring the house down. Um, yeah, she's going to be loud. This is like ring up the police type of loud. <laughs> I don't mean police to be in, I mean police with guns. <laughs> so I'm running six amplifiers now. All I've really got to do is get a better um, amplifier and speak. I might even buy another one of those. That's uh, just a little bit you take. Nice little unit. It's only 30 weight, 38 watt, I think. I think that's that's a bigger one. And uh, yeah, need to. I need more uh, bass power to make it sound good. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a not a bad sound out of it. What did I do? I turned that off. What's on next? Lucid Chart makes intelligent diagramming easy and helps your best ideas become real. Oh, here we go, play Chuck. It's annoying the neighbors. Oh yeah, this is more noise than I was. Um, well, rock singer over an 